Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. You know you love it. Here we go, baby. Alright, so, um, no, it's not on there either. One of those wines that, uh, I, I'm doing kind of on a whim. I saw it, it's cheap. Figured, why the heck not? Nobody else is reviewing this wine that I know of. Um, so here we go. If you were like, if you're like my age and you remember those commercials, what in the seventies or eighties, whatever, uh, it was so nice on ice. Here you go. Rio Nidi Lambrusco, non-vintage, by the way, as far as I can tell, I don't see anything from the Emilia area of Rome, not Rome, of, uh, Italy. Um, yeah, $4.69 at specs. So a little bit frizzante in there that just means kind of sparkling somewhat sparkling lightly sparkling in italiano all right so um you know it's one of those wines i was like i'm gonna eventually drink this or eventually try it i don't think i've ever had it um this is the real deal this is not some california or as i read some australian or argentinian um uh knockoff wine this is the real deal from italy um, like I said, they used to have those commercials, you know, Reuniti, uh, on ice or so nice or something like that. I don't remember, but, uh, I mean, anyway, it's a red wine. Um, Lambrusco is the grape varietal. It is what, you know, that is the grape. Now, um, when I was looking up the information on this, uh, the PDF sheet for it, uh, named a bunch of grapes, but basically they're all clones of Lambrusco. Uh, so they're all basically the, the, the same grape, uh, as in, uh, I'm just going to name them from the Wikipedia, from the Book of Knowledge, uh, Grasparosa, Maestri, Marani, Monsterico, Salomino, and Sobara. Um, those are some of the clones. Now, not all of those were listed on Riuniti's site, but um, anyway, so let's check it out. It's a red wine. It's kind of... Very see-through, very light. Um, so let's check it out. Now the literature mentions strawberries. Kind of get that. Um, it smells sweet. Um, you've got. Uh, I'm really going to aerate this. It almost feels like you can smell the carbonation in it a little bit. Um, Strawberry-like, cherry-like. Even like hint of chocolate in there. So, not an unpleasant nose, but it, but it, it fades really quickly. Feel, you feels like it seems like you have to swirl it because if I just let it sit there and then go like this. I don't know, it seems like it's not as... No, no, it's there. Anyway. Let's see what it tastes like. It's a sweet red wine, but it's not those sickly sweet red wines I've had in the past. I'm like, ooh. It's okay. I mean, it, it does say on the back, uh, refrigerate this wine. So, um, reseal tightly after opening because it's a screw cap and refrigerate. Um, yeah, they, 
they want it to be nice and cold because it makes it easier to go down. It's not acidic or anything. It's not harsh. Um, it's grapey, kind of. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of a fizzy grape juice. I don't know. It's, it's kind of tasty, but I wouldn't necessarily drink a lot of this. I mean, this is the kind of style you like. Cool. Enjoy with grilled meats, pasta, with red sauces, or with spicy Southwest Mexican, Mexican and Asian dishes. I can see the spiciness because it has a bit of sweetness to it. It's that little bit of residual sugar. It'll help cut through the spice, spiciness, the hot, the heat of that. Um, I honestly... Grilled meats. This is a barbecue wine. This is a wine that you can have with that, or if you're if you're having something a little bit spicy, you could do it. I'm gonna give it an 80. I don't necessarily think it's a bad wine, um, but it's not to my liking. Uh, if you happen to like this, maybe it brings back great memories for you. Um, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm gonna drink the bottle, so not tonight. But yeah, um, it's what growing up, I imagine wine was supposed to taste like alcoholic grape juice. Yeah. All right. That's going to do it for this show. Man, I'm, I'm kind of pumping these out a lot quicker. I'm not taking too much time on here. Um, timer hasn't even gone off yet. All right. So that's going to do it for today. Um, have you had this? Do you remember having this wine? Did, did you have it? Did you have it as a kid? I don't know. Did you, do you remember the ads, all that stuff? Leave leave comments below. Stop by the website. Friend me up. Or, or tell other people to stop by the website. Maybe you already have friended me up on Twitter and Facebook. Find me uh, uh, online up there. Uh, make a donation. Um, $4.69. Everybody buy another one of these bottles of wine. Anyway, that's going to do it. Uh, we'll, see everyone, we'll see everyone again next time.